Oh, that gives me more hearts. Hell yeah. I really don't know if this is a double kill or not. And there's a lot of facts that I just don't get. Like the whole transfer student thing, I really don't get. But I do think Kibo is involved. And I do think he killed Tenko. I absolutely believe that. And the fact that I made that earlier call that uh, Kibo did something, I don't know. I'm already feeling proud about that one. Angie, I have no clue. That could have been him, but I do feel like I do feel like there's collusion going on. But we're gonna figure that out. Let's go. <laughs> now then, we know how this works. We know how this works. I don't think I'm gonna be much help this time. Are you usually help? Well, I guess the power of blind optimism, but you know. Who did it? Oh, she's mad. Who killed Angie and Tanko? Oh, great! Now she's gonna wear her sleeves on her chest. What? I mean, she <laughs> she's gonna wear her emotions on her chest, not her sleeves. So, our other culprit might not be one of us here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm? What do you mean? The transfer student. So can we stop that? Say something, Shuichi. It'll be a mess if this keeps going on. Okay, Sugumi, shut up. Okay, time to get the obvious out of the way. It's our favorite moment of the day. Time to spin. This crime was committed by the recently deceased. They came back to life and killed two of our classmates. No! Shut up. Oh, so yeah. Ritual did work? No. Uh, no, it didn't. Because if you remember. <laughs> For one thing, it said the bird in the book, and that did not happen. Then, going to think Rantaro probably not culprit. Or alive. Oh, I guess you're right. Now we got the obvious out of the way, let's move on. Well, duh. There's no way a dead person could resurrect. Now hold on a second. I can't let that comment stand. Why? Sure, everybody knows that you can't bring the dead back to life. But it's easy at the Ultimate Academy. As long as you use the Necronomicon. So you're saying it's possible? Well, I guess I did say about? it's not going to anything can happen. But just for him to say it, it just sounds stupid. I never lie about motives. Well, that clears that up. Kaito, uh, I don't know what to tell you, man. You should have let me use it to bring Monazem back to life. He's still alive. Just Monodum's not with us. Alive, yeah. But Monotaro's not going to be, though. Sugumi, stop! There's no way that could happen, idiots. Monokuma is trying to confuse us. Oh, that, that's cute. <laughs> death thing. <laughs> Wait, can I actually? Perfect. That's funny. That's actually. <laughs> that's really funny. That's cute. I don't know about Tenko, but I'm pretty fucking sure Kyo murdered Angie. I mean, it could appear that way. I have my suspicions, but I don't know. Oh. Front door, back door, lock pick, lock pick. And it was found in Kyo's research lab, which makes you, Kyo, automatically suspicious. But anyone could have taken that katana, you see. So that rusty katana was the murder weapon. You were the only one who cared about that thing, Kyo. I did not care about some katana. Oh, that is not true. Hold up. Mid went to the classroom, broke in. Oh, actually, that's it. But what Kyo said was also wrong, but this is what we need to shoot. She said she wasn't going to open up for anyone but students council members. And Kyo is not a member. She wouldn't have opened the door for him. So whoever killed Angie must have been one of the student council members, yeah? The remaining student council members are Gonta, Kibo, Sumugi, and Himiko. Well, it can't be Himiko. She was besties with Angie. Until he is in it. I do believe that Himiko knows something. Like, it could be like as blown out as like, she was the culprit or she was an accomplice. But like, I don't know if it's that far. Like, she at least knows something that we don't know. Yep, yep, the culprit is one of those three people. You mean one of those two people. Cause a robot ain't people, Jack. Hey, Kibo takes offense to that. I will let that remark slide. Anyway. That's a first. Aren't these accusations just a tad too hasty? What else? The culprit should confess already. Gonta, Keyboy, or Samugi. Well, Gonta, I'm not, not the culprit. culprit. Not the culprit. One at a time, one at a time. I know I'm popular. Anyone could open that door. 
Only student council members had access. Wait, that's it. Mr. Lockpicker. I've been, <laughs> I heard it with my own two ears. I've been nailing the V points out, and I know it's stupid, specific where you need to hit. No. Open says me. Like, who are you, Plankton? Oh, that happened? I totally forgot. So you're going to pretend you don't remember, huh? Do you want to die? <laughs> Quit glaring at me like that. Of course I remember. Remember, she almost ended your life. Yeah, I did it. I killed Angie. Yeah, very funny. Next. No, no, definitely not a lie. Shut Should up. You guys believe? Then let me ask you, culprit. How did you lock the room? Uh, with my hands. Got him. Huh? It's the same as opening it. You pick the door closed from the. Try outside. again. No, that doesn't make sense. They used a different method. What different method? I don't know. Let's spin to find out. That's a secret technique. I'm a dumbass. I'll say it's the wait, no, it's the back door. It's a log room mystery with like some weird adjacent mystery right next to it. Oh, mine, mine already. Yo, okay, so low key, I've actually been in the casino, like off recording, and I've been messing around with the little game that's essentially mind mine, but without a timer. So I feel like I'm a little better at it now. I kind of know what I'm doing. Also, it's, it's, it's straight up a fun game. Oh, I don't have the skill where I can just pick it right away, do I? Whoops. Duh. That makes sense. Wait. Explain, Sweetie. I don't quite get that. The culprit used that to hit the knob of the sliding lock to lock the door. So the gold leaf was in the sliding lock because... Because when the katana hit the lock, some of the gold leaf rubbed off on it. The gold leaf on that katana did peel rather easily. I'm a little lost. What? Hmm. That evidence what? rings a bell. Mm. A school bell. Screw you. Huh? Are you talking about a different school? What school was it? Wait, okay, so my theory about this being the future is a little deep well that doesn't mean anything. You could be talking in like now, any now, sense that because he knows that. <laughs> Also, screw you with that stupid reference. Wait, how did they move it with a katana? And from outside Angie's lab? Yeah, that's what I'm confused about. The clue that might give us the answer is the layout of the area itself. Yeah, I need to see this visually because I don't get it. The katana stabbed into the effigy. The effigy's hung upside down. Angie didn't do that as part of the ritual? No, I thought that a little bit, but no that doesn't make sense. I do feel like... I do feel like she wasn't killed in there, but I don't know. Oh, psych taxi. Yeah, I got nothing here. I don't quite get what's going on. I don't know if I said it on recording already, but turns out that I, I, I'm supposed to hit Monokuma. The one that I completely avoided, that was a hidden Monokuma. <laughs> yeah, that was super clear, so missed that. Uh, so something about the handle of the sliding lock. Let's turn the handle of the sliding lock. Uh, would it not be the sword or katana or whatever? Wait. Wait, no, 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 no. It's, it's this. What was done to make the katana turn the lock? I have no clue. What? Oh, was that Monica? Great. Uh, how was the MG manipulated to make the katana affect the lock? Well, it has to be with the wax, I guess, at that point, right? Because otherwise, I don't really get how the FG had anything to do with it. Swinging back and forth, making it fall. Uh, swinging back and forth? Uh, oh! Wait, they're in the air. Spinning, I, I guess. Okay, that was my first guess. Does it, though? Wasn't because they hated Kaede's guts, but it was. Oh, I understand now. Okay, I can see it. I can see it now. I was thinking, wait, this doesn't make any sense. I get it now. And the fact that the rest of them were hung up is so that wasn't obvious. 
And since this happened way late at night, we wouldn't have seen the thing spinning or anything or moving at all because it would have like stopped spinning by that point. I see. So the culprit used the katana's counterspin to push the lock into place? The culprit simply needed to spin the effigy's rope and then swiftly leave. This would cause the spinning katana to hit the sliding lock. You really gotta think outside the box for these crimes. The sliding lock was pretty loose. Little push could move it. Oh, man, you guys got me. Okay, I'm not the culprit. You're telling the truth this time, right? No, I. Yeah, I'm not. I'm actually the culprit. And <laughs> the music picks up again. Could you imagine? Honestly, I'm lying, but I'm not. Why did you say you were the culprit? To make things more fun. That's kind I of thing. I wanted to lure the culprit out. Never mind. That would make a little more sense. If I claim to be the culprit, then the real culprit would agree as well. You get me? No. And if they pressured me to confess, then that would have looked mighty suspicious. Sheesh. Darn it. It didn't go my way because Shuichi butted in on my plan. I mean... Every... What? I mean, everyone would have... That wouldn't have brought the culprit out. That just... Everyone would have been like, Oh, uh, you're evil? Okay, let's just agree. Unless you had enough evidence to dispute that... Like, it was a certain person, then that wasn't the play. Go sit in the corner and play with yourself. Okay, I'll start right now. Don't do that. So, who's the asshole who set up this locked room, mister? We kinda need him. Don't let him play by himself. Yeah. I can't hold it up anymore. Why did you listen to him? Why did you say something? You going soft on me now? Can we move on? Who made the locked room mystery doesn't matter since anyone could have done it. Don't you even understand something as basic as that, you filthy cum dumpster? Cum dumpster! Oh my god. <laughs> Can I please skip? What Jesus Christ. What should we talk about now? Anything but that. That leaves us with four suspects. Sumugi, Gonta, Kibo, and Kokichi. Don't forget Himiko. She's also a part of the student council. Yeah, I agree with them. We really shouldn't be like, oh, they're friends. Yeah, yeah. No, she's still a suspect. That what you said earlier. Which I can prove using my Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a waste of time. I kind of agree with Maki in this case. A suspect? Uh oh, she's about to go off. I feel like Himiko has been awakened and now she's not gonna like sound so lazy anymore. I think the Nez are gone. It never kill Angie. So calling all suspects, what should we discuss next? Why did Tinko have to die? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The kids are talking. Anyways, what were we saying? <gasps> I want to know what happened to Angie too, but can we talk about Tanko's case now and not just Angie? <laughs> I got you exactly where I wanted, Himiko. Oh, is it the sort of thing where he's like, oh, the person that's trying to get us on the other track of the other case, they're trying to get us distracted so we don't focus on the other. I do think that one, like, I do think that Himiko's hiding something. I don't know if she's the culprit. But I do, I do get where uh, I do get where Kokichi's coming from. What do you mean? The two victims could have been killed by two separate murderers, you know. Yeah. So we need to find the first blackened responsible for the first victim. Yeah. We've got to figure out who killed Angie. Until we solve Angie's case, Tenko's case is meaningless. Did you suggest that to waste our time? It's not meaningless. What was the purpose of that? Tanko's death was meaningless. How dare you? Poor Tanko. Going to Monokuma kind of is mean, meaningless, unfortunately, but you know. Himiko, stop it with your crappy lies. Lies? Everything you said is total BS. You didn't give two shits about Tenko when she was alive. But now you're like, oh no, poor Tenko, after she's dead. Come on, really? I mean, Enough. that I get where he's I get where he's coming from because he's technically right, but I don't think that means she's lying per se. I 
painful before. That's why I'm so upset now. I can't complain to her or thank her. It's too late. Yeah, seriously. Says. It's way too late to realize that now. Our only option is to face her death head on. Face her death? Yeah, what do you mean? Himiko, I understand what you're going through. Oh, here we go. Motivational well, speech. Help you out. Let's work together to find the truth. Well, I guess Kaito's now back. Kaito's back, everyone. Calls Tango's death meaningless. The name of the curse is Death Curse. And Himiko's back, unfortunately. Abandoning someone who died and only thinking about your own survival. That's just as bad as a hit and run. I, I get why Kaito's saying stuff, but I'm a little on Kokichi's side no, for this one. We need to stay focused. We need to get to the bottom of Tenko's death. Not just to survive this trial, but so we can keep going and live on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Power of blind optimism. <laughs> You're not wrong, but I don't mind going over Tenko's case, even though it's pretty obvious what happened, at least in my eyes. Was that intentional? I can't tell if there are two deaths, but I definitely think there's an accomplice. There's definitely like some colluding going on. I definitely believe that now. Ten Crotch probably got Ten killed Crotch. during the seance, so everyone there's suspicious. Ten <laughs> people who intended the seance. Oh my God! Well, obviously five people. Oh, not Kibo. Uh. Not Kaito, it that. Oh, Himiko still culprit? Wait. Well, that's probably just a coinky dink. The most suspicious out of the four is really me. Kyo. He suggested the whole seance idea. I was not the one who selected the room we performed in. Yeah, I did notice that. I did notice that. I was like, oh wait, Himiko's like, oh let's go to the middle room. That's just that that's the right room. That just feels right. And I didn't, I just thought that was like a throwaway, like, sort of a line. And then I thought about it, I was like, didn't he even go choose this room? <laughs> I don't know that really has anything to do with it, but I did notice that. That's the biggest reason why I feel like she knows something. Also, we should not limit our suspects to only those who participated in the seance. Mm -hmm. The empty room had a point of entry from outside, you see. Through the floorboards. You already know. Come on. Wait. You mean this or this? There. Okay. I was about to choose the thing that Tenko was on, but I think the game would have said no. About, there's a crawl space under the floor a person can move through. There was also a hole that connected it to the neighboring room. The fact that we're breaking this down already scares me. I feel like my whole world is going to be completely shattered for this whole entire trial. I feel like I'm trying to say the obvious, but it's actually something completely different. Ooh, I can see it clearly. The true identity of Tenko's killer. Oh, uh, don't say it or else it's going to make me look bad. Oh, never mind. We're just spinning. The culprit sneaked in during the seance. Flashlight, flashlight, flashlight. Uh, not yet, not yet. His child. Because it wasn't dark under the floor. You see, our villain had a light. Light? You mean candle? I mean, Kibo's flashlight function. Yeah, there it is. Huh? Now hold on a second. Kibo could have used that function to get under the floor and sneak into the empty room during the seance. I said, hold on a second. Dang it. He Am I... robot functions to commit the murders. I'm so upset, so... Hold on! Dang it. So, I think, dang it. So, I know I completely <laughs> made a baseless claim that Kibo was it. And it was so convenient that he had a light function that he could, he could use to go through the ground, but I don't think that was right. So, I got to throw everything on the, so, watch it be going or something. So the thing with this is, I, I thought about this, but I didn't want to admit it because I was being stubborn. Yeah, Kibo's flashlight function can blind you, so I don't think that's it. But the thing is, for your dumb sans to work, oh, here we go. 
Yeah, but about that. Okay, I hit it, but whatever. So here's the thing. We wouldn't have been able to see the light because of the hole in the ground. I completely forgot about logic. Dude. Enough with the flashlight. It's way too bright. What if someone just had like x-ray goggles? But that's definitely not it. Grown to think that was so culprit could stab Tenko from underfloor. Maybe they marked Tenko with glowing paint and looked for that. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Yeah, very funny, Dong Rambo writers. I know we were going with that. No, they did not do that again. That'd let the culprit find her. Yeah, no, no, no. Monica and Purple wrong. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Perhaps first, we should figure out how and when exactly Tenko was killed. M marker stone. It's absolutely in the marker stone. It's absolutely in the marker stone. Wait. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Iron cage. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, it could be either or. What? No. Like that. What? When Cage lifted, culprit stabbed Tango real fast. Why is she getting so off fast, this? No one saw. Do you have a death fetish or something? So who lifted the cage? Uh, it was me. <laughs> then obviously Himiko is the culprit. There's no so Himiko did say I, I'm so fixated on this stone now. But what if, like Himiko said that she got it just randomly. But what if it was used as an actual marker? Like I was saying that maybe like the floorboard thing was a marker. Maybe, but what if this was more of a marker? For example, maybe it was magnetized or something or some some sort of way to track it. Wait, that's not what I wanted to look at. <laughs> what about moment cage was lifted? Who <laughs> you? <laughs> that thing was moving. So if I'm right about this, I don't think I had it. I straight up missed. Let's try this. Why? Oh, I ran out. I forgot there's a limit. <laughs> That's what happened the first time. So I gotta get really fast. That wasn't it. Oh, that wasn't even right. <laughs> That's it. I wasn't even trying. Wait, I'm confused. Wait, was it the point I've already made? It wasn't possible to kill her the moment the cage was lifted. Yes, because because the inside of the white cloth had Tenko's blood on it. Okay, but also, I mean, so did the cage, and okay, that that was a bit stupid because you can literally say the same thing with the cage, and that didn't work. But, but how could my golden brain be wrong when it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only possibility. Oh, here we go. Someone's about to interrupt me. Right Were we just talking like two seconds ago? I get to argue against Mew. Oh, please. Tenko died after the say it happened when the sheet was lifted. That was the moment the culprit chose. No. That's why they had two bullets that were exactly the same. I gotta use the iron cage to like prove her wrong. That'd be it. No? Is it this? Oh, that's the point she's making. Okay, it's a lot more obvious than I expect. Great. Sitting in there with her neck all exposed. Nope. Wait just a minute. Tenko wasn't sitting down inside the cage. I forgot that we have to point this out. I thought this was obvious and I was like, oh the, the marker stone the stone marker is gonna be totally more uh not obvious and completely like important to some secret later, right? Now nah, we have to go over the obvious again. I guess Mia wasn't there, so. The sickle's blade was too short to reach Tenko while she was in that position. Wait, what? I messed up again. How could this happen? You do it quite a lot, Kokichi. Get him. No worries, Mew. Everyone already knows you're an embarrassment to the human race. That's right. Yeah. No worries. <laughs> go to two with the backup. <laughs> 
Cut this too honest, bro. Wait, she was absolutely killed through the cage. I feel like someone could have gone over to... No, I still feel like she was killed through the cage. I feel like someone could have gone over, grabbed the sword, and jabbed it in. And like, I don't... Nah, I don't think they're gonna try to pull some stupid maneuver, right? If she was killed then, the cloth over the cage would have been pierced. Not during the sand. I mean, are you sure? Then it's impossible, isn't it? Yeah, for a living person. Oh my god. Huh? Nah, what I'm. What if I'm still confused. I know. What if the culprit was hiding inside the cage? Well, he's trying, but he's failing. No, if there was someone else in the cage, we would have known. I agree with Kaito. The culprit could have been inside the cage. How? By shrinking down to the size of an ant? I mean, yes, the floorboard, floorboard was obviously moved, and that could be the case. But, oh, because of the dimensions. That is the stupidest thing. So I was still right that she was killed during the thing. Now, I was confused why the whole board was, like, moved. Because, like, that didn't really line up with my whole stabbing theory. But, uh, whatever. Also, the culprit could have killed her in the cage at any time. I think you know what I'm getting at, right? I think so? The day she's referring to. Oh, wait, hold up. I'm not ready for this. Whoa, 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 whoa. 